and welcome Kingdom citizens, Velocity Banking students, and new people. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. And in this video today, I have some amazing news to share with you, which is the Ecclesia Gathering. In other words, your personal finance geek of the 21st century has started a church. We're looking to cooperatively come together in Kingdom Commonwealth where we can discuss matters of the kingdom as it relates to finance. This particular church, the Finance Geek Ministry, is going to have its focus on financial literacy, financial intelligence, anything and all things finance. All the things that your home church may not cover, we're gonna cover in finance. We're gonna talk about velocity banking. We're gonna talk about infinite banking. We're gonna talk about debt leveraging, debt snowball, debt avalanche credit card churning, debt leveraging, starting an online business, operational costs, taxes, crypto, forex, stocks, options, index funds, mutual funds, IRA accounts, self-directed accounts, 401k plans, ESOPs. I mean, you name it. All the things that you would want to learn from your pastor, from your church inside the kingdom, you're going to get that here, okay? We're taking, this is going to be unlike any church you've ever attended, okay? We're going way outside the box here, way outside the box, okay? I am not a pastor by any means. I have no qualifications, no college degree, no certifications whatsoever, okay? But when you're called, you are called, okay? When God calls you, he qualifies you and no one else, okay? And that is what God has done in my life. That is what the father, the manufacturer, the creator has done for me. He's called me out into the realm of finance to specialize in helping his people become completely debt free, masters over money so that money doesn't master them so that they can be a master over it, which is a thing, a resource, a tool, master over it, have dominion over it, right? Tell it what to do and how to operate. So therefore, they can truly only have one master, which is their creator, their manufacturer, God the Father, God Jehovah, right? So I'm excited. Let's take it to the whiteboard so I can just show you a few things, uh, uh, some of the thoughts. Understand all of this that I'm doing, I'm building it as we work inside of it, okay? This is gonna be fully online. We'll be gathering, the Ecclesia will be gathering via Zoom, right? On the first and last Friday of every month. My goal, my intent is not to take away from the uh, churches you already attend, your home church, right? So it's not going to interfere with traditional churches being on, you know, having your sermons or, or uh, what do the Catholics call it? Mass on Sundays or Saturdays, right? We're going to be gathering on the first and last Friday of every month at around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. So on the West Coast, likely when you're exiting work or maybe you're home already, maybe you work from home. So that's not a big deal. Um, we're going to play with this only two times a month. We're going to gather because we're we're very, very niched down, focused on finance. We're going to be looking at scripture alone. We're going to be looking at how does God operate money, wealth, finances from the perspective of kingdom, not religion. OK, from the perspective of kingdom. How does the king operate finances in the kingdom realm, right? How does the kingdom of heaven operate? What are the goals, desires, and dreams of the king, dumb, of heaven, right? And how does he want to expand his kingdom of heaven here on earth, right? Kingdom of heaven being the invisible location operating outside of space, time, and matter. And his goal and desire is to bring that into the physical realm within space, time, and matter where we can establish the kingdom of God, God's physical ecclesia here on earth, right? And we're going to look right at scripture where it clearly shows what Jesus was doing when he arrived in within space, time, and matter in his bodily flesh, right? And he walked as a man here on earth and what his intent was to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. One of his very first public statements, repent, change your way of thinking for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is now here available for all of you to experience in it being his sons and daughters, right? So 
this is going to be really exciting. Let's take a look at the board real quick, just so you can see where I'm coming from, what are my ideas, and some of the main topics that we're going to be discussing together so that we can advance our kingdom together, so we can advance our goals and desires, our individual purposes given by God himself, right? Being able to use the tool of money to walk in our purpose, God's will for our individual lives according to our skills, gifts, and talents. We're going to be co-vesting, we're going to be coming together in common unity, in kingdom commonwealth, where we share and contribute our time, talent, and treasure so that everyone in the ecclesia can succeed and be abundant, cheerful givers, being wonderful, perfect examples of God's children here on earth so that we can be wonderful testimonies unto the kings and queens of this world, wonderful examples to the lost so that they can be found, right? So here's the ecclesia. What is the ecclesia? A lot, a lot, of, a lot of us are not familiar with this word, okay? You, you need to know what that, what that actually means. It's the original word for church, okay? Church today has, has been diluted to a religious term to the point of not having so much effect on the people of today, on society, versus the ecclesia, the original meaning, the original intent. The ecclesia is a called out political cabinet. It's a political cabinet, right? And it has, it is made up of called out ambassadors, people who have been called by God to become ambassadors and represent the king's will on earth to manifest the king's will on earth right that is what the ecclesia does now there's many departments and structures within the ecclesia right so the ecclesia is the bride it's the church it's the body jesus before he left gave us holy spirit which now dwells in us so you and I, we all are the bot. We are the church. The church is not four walls, my friend. It's it's us. It's within us, right? And when we gather and come together as one, we are the bride. We are preparing the bride for the coming of the Father, so we can be in unity. We can go back to the original intent where God dwelled with man in the garden. That is the end game, to dwell with the Father in common unity, with a common goal, a common mission in mind, right? So I'm really excited about this. Again, this is not meant to take away from whatever it is that you're doing with the church that you're part of. So if your church focuses on, you know, ministering to kids or teens, or you uh, maybe your church focuses on married couples, and there's a lot of programs for that, or counseling, or, uh, I mean, we can go down the list. This specifically, we stick within finance, all things finance, starting a business, debt, credit, business leveraging, taxes. I mean, all of it. We're going to have lessons upon lessons upon lessons, recordings upon recordings upon recordings. You're going to be able to communicate and connect with an entire community of people who are like minded, who are rapidly paying off debt, improving their credit scores, starting businesses, increasing their income, increasing their cash flow, managing their expenses, living below their means, maximizing their efficiency in the marketplace, tapping into their skills, gifts, and talents. You're dealing with abundant givers here. How do I know this? Listen, for the past four years, I have been building my financial coaching and consulting practice now to a seven-figure operation. Pretty much over the last four years, been able to generate over seven figures working with families all across the U.S., some outside of the country. And we have been maximizing these concepts, velocity banking, infinite banking and kingdom authority to rapidly become debt free or debt leveraged, start businesses, multiply our income, increase our investments, increase our co-vestments, right? Operate in tax free environments, create tax free wealth create legacies and become abundant, cheerful givers, right? So you're not dealing with people in this community who are broke, busted, disgusted, no motivation, lack of urgency, 
I mean, you're dealing with people, not just me. You're dealing with an entire community of people who want to grow, who may be broke, but they do not have a poor mindset. It's okay to be broke. It's not okay to be poor, have a poor mindset, right? So you're dealing with people who have bigger goals, who are thinking big. You're dealing with people who are excited to grow with people not try to do it all by themselves. You're dealing with people who are not greedy whatsoever. In fact, they know the power of giving. They know the principles of giving and what that yields, right? So this is this is exciting stuff, right? So the first and last Friday of every month, 8 p.m. via Zoom. If you wanna be a part of this, all you have to do, click the link below, okay? I'm gonna have a link in the comment section uh, that says, you know, join the Ecclesia or uh, join the Ecclesia gathering. I'm going to name it something that is really eye opening. It'll be in the comment sections. It'll be in the description. You know, join this community, join this Ecclesia, right? Come check us out. Come see what we're doing. Come see what we're working on. Only two times a month. Okay. So again, it's not taking away from all the other things that you got going on. You're busy. When, when you come into this group, we're going to work. Okay, so this isn't a place where you're going to come and, and listen to a sermon, right? You're already getting that at your church. This is not going to be a place where I just, you know, crack open the Bible and pick a few verses and um, make a whole talk out of it. You're already getting that. You don't need any additional. That's that's information overload. When we gather here, we're literally going to work. We're working on our numbers. We're running scenarios on the whiteboard. We're going line by line, number by number. We're looking at our interest costs of borrowing. We're offsetting our interest costs of borrowing. We're increasing income. We're collaborating. We're networking. Okay. Other people will be speaking, improving their speaking capabilities. We're going to be, you know, matchmaking, networking, connecting customers to businesses, businesses to customers. Okay. We're not fooling around. We're going to work. Got it? Two times a month. Nothing crazy. All right. Should you decide to take the next action step in working with, say, me, a financial coach, consultant, an insurance agent, uh, a, a business owner, a content creator, I've got all my different services that I provide. You can see all the links below. It's right there, right? You'll see different partners that I've been working with for the past four years, right? People like Steve Parisi, people like Brittany Green, Alex Albaran, Sebastian Boya, Shanora Walker, Dr. Eddie Connor, bunch of people you'll see familiar faces coming and then new faces, new business owners I'll be adding into the fold that want to give their time, that want to do master classes, that want to see you succeed with your finances, become a master over money so that it don't master you and you can serve your true master. Got it? So here are the main, main areas so far. And these are all the things I've already been doing, right? The main ones being velocity banking. We're going to have classes on that classes on infinite banking. I'm going to bring in other experts, right? You'll hear me talk. You'll hear me run the numbers. Okay. And we're not just running anybody's numbers. We're running numbers within the community. Okay. No cost to you two times a month. Doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is reach out to me either via email. You click the link below in terms of joining the community. You'll see it there. You'll get on my email newsletter and you'll express your interest to want to participate in this. There is no obligation for you to, to have to pay to gain access to this, right? You do not have to pay, but we are gathering in private assembly, okay? So these recordings will be privately held, right? And all I ask is that you give what you feel it's worth, right? You give what you feel that this community is worth to you. That might be $5 a month, $5 a week. That might be $500 a month. That might be 5,000, 50,000, right? You give what you feel it's worth, right? That's all I ask. You give from the heart, not give because you have to. Give from the heart, give when you feel compelled and whatever your heart tells you to give, you give and you shall receive, okay? This is principal stuff here. I'll also have a, a link in terms of the different options, different avenues, you know, the, the Cash App, the Zelle, the the, uh, the PayPal, right? I'll have a bunch of different options, make it very, very easy and transparent for you to uh, give when you feel from the heart. But again, these are the main areas, velocity banking, infinite banking, talking about online businesses, you know, starting an online business, like what I have, creating content, right? This is gonna be a great environment for coaches. I have a lot of clients who say, want to do what I do to an extent, right? 
and I want to provide you guys with the, you know, the back end stuff of my operation, how I'm able to, you know, push out so much content while managing hundreds of clients, while obtaining new clients, while collaborating, while having a personal life, while growing in my personal relationship with God and how I don't burn out, right? I want to show you those, how I operate effectively. I want to show you the systems, the automations, and I also want to learn, okay? I also want to learn too. I want to, I want to bring in some high level, uh, uh, pastors and bishops and elders and, and high level business owners that operate even better than I do. Okay. Because I'm looking to grow as well. I'm looking to improve. Right. So that's going to be key too. It's not just, you know, I'm being a little selfish here. I want to grow as well. I want to grow to the full capacity that God wants me to operate in. Right. So we'll have private events. We'll be talking about real estate and within each of these bubbles are going to be additional resources outside of what say I can do, right? Cause I can't do it all alone. I, I will have additional partners and resources. They're going to contribute, give their time, talent, and treasures, right? And they're going to have additional services that you can pay for, right? A man shall not be ashamed for the work that he does, right? Man or woman not need to be ashamed, right? Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. So this right here, the BC and PC just stands for personal credit, business credit, right? We'll be talking about those things, how important it is. This right here, it says ICOVEST. This is the church, right? That you can also be a part of. So I've got a, I've got a ministry. I've got a church, right? And it is an extension of this church right here, ICOVEST, which is a ministry of finance. They literally focus on creating cash flow vehicles for the participating members of the ecclesia so in addition to the gatherings that i'll do just twice a month this particular ministry does meet multiple times in a month every monday and thursday at uh, 9 p.m eastern time is when they gather right and they have a school they have an academy they have uh, uh asset pools you know, syndication opportunities for you to co-vest your financial resources, your cash flow, so that you can build wealth completely outside of commercial jurisdiction and have all the growth be completely tax accepted. In other words, tax-free, tax-free wealth building in the kingdom is what this particular church has to offer, ICOVES. And all I'm doing is extending that a uh, uh, same values same principles of kingdom finance and kingdom structures and jurisdiction ecclesiastical law ecclesiastical sovereignty teaching all these things the difference between commercial jurisdiction and ecclesiastical right and how all this works i'm i'm extending that to my existing community and clients that i'm already working with and then as i meet new people that come to my channel and you just want to take a little bit of a deeper dive and, and see how it is that I operate. This would be like a great next step for you, right? I have my private Facebook group and I've got my um, email newsletter where I will send additional information. Obviously, the people that are hitting my channel are not going to know what I'm doing here initially. So typically you're coming for financial assistance, financial help. You want to put a policy in place. You want to, you need help paying off your debt really fast, increasing credit, starting a business, increasing income, creating wealth overall. All I'm doing here is creating an environment where we can have those discussions a little more one-on-one. -on -one. We're still going to be in a group setting, but you're getting me live at the very right then and there. I'll be answering questions, right? Again, all of these uh, uh, meetings are going to be in private assembly, okay? Privately held. All I ask is that you give what you feel that it's worth. And you could give nothing and still participate. That's okay. But at some point in time, you want to really manage your time effectively. You want to say, okay, is it worth me continuing to, to come to this? And how much more do I want to put it? How much more do I want to get out of it? And that's where the financial investment or co-vestment in yourself should occur, where you either you give, right? You tithe, you make an honorable contribution, or you literally pay a man or woman for their services so they can help you get to the next level, right? So taking another look at the board here in terms of the different uh, uh, topics that we will be covering. Again, this is, I already do all this stuff, right? I'm already like on the YouTube channel, you already see all of that, right? It's, it's, it's all there. The only difference is now I'm bringing all of the different communities that I'm a part of, 
I'm bringing my my clients, my non-clients. I'm just trying to bring everybody to one central location and I'm calling it the Ecclesia gathering, right? The church gathering, the body gathering, right? And I'm simply giving credit where credit is due. Not that I haven't been doing that already. Most of you already know, you know, I'm a man of faith. Um, but in this environment, we'll, I'll change it up a little bit in terms of opening in prayer, closing in prayer. You know, maybe we'll identify a scripture here or there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be passing the mic to other people to allow them to speak. Hey, maybe someone's receiving uh, a, a word, a revelation. Basically, I'm allowing more of the Holy Spirit to work through the group. Whereas typically in my videos, in my courses, in my classes, in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, usually we're, we're more focused on the, the logical financial strategy that we're trying to put in place, right? Nothing wrong with that. You're, you came, you hired me, you're coming for a specific purpose to improve your finances at some capacity, right? And in here, all I'm doing is taking just a few minutes just to allow Holy Spirit to also provide the answers, right? So logically, this may make sense. Logically, it might make sense to pay off your car first, then you hit these three different credit cards, then you jump to wife student loan, then you go to the mortgage, right? That might logically make sense. All the math adds up great. Now, by allowing Holy Spirit to come in, not that it would be contradictory to the logical strategy, but maybe Holy Spirit might be saying, hey, Joe, hey, Sue, hey, Samantha, hey, hey, John, right? Might Holy Spirit might be saying, hey, you need to pay your brother first. You owe him five grand or you need to pay your sister. You need to pay your mom back, your dad back, your older brother, younger brother, older sister, younger sister, cousin. Um, you, you've got a loan with a friend. You need to you need to mend that relationship first. And as soon as you do that, this opportunity is going to open itself, which is going to allow you to increase your income by two X, which once that occurs, then we go to the the same logical strategy that maybe we laid out together and we're just going to go that much faster. So notice how it, it, it wasn't contradictory. It was just like, OK, before you implement that logical strategy, please address this matter of the heart, this this issue over here, because Holy Spirit is trying to release a blessing in your life. Holy Spirit's trying to uh, get you to surrender to what you think, you know, and rely on the Holy One, the All-Knowing, the Almighty, okay? So that's all I'm doing here in the Ecclesia Gathering is, is allowing that environment to happen, allowing those conversations to happen. And we can have debates as well. That's going to be another interesting uh, uh, thing that we do here. So if you want to talk about uh, an MLM opportunity or network marketing opportunity or Forex or crypto or you know, discussing PAM accounts or this investment hedge fund and and you want some dialogue, right? You want people to kind of provide some feedback, right? I'm going to have people in the room who have done one or more of those things before. Maybe even I have done it and we can provide some insight. And again, we'll look at things logically. Okay, what are the company's revenues? Do they actually have customers or are they just all recruit, recruit, recruit? And the product is like overpriced like so we're going to be looking at the logical stuff but then also allowing holy spirit god the father jesus christ to you know provide some insight be able to speak through us all of us because when two or more are gathered there will he be also right he will be with us so that's all i'm doing here in those two times a month that we gather is i'm allowing that em that environment to cultivate to grow to build so taking a look at the board one last time here are all the things that's going on first and last Friday of every month, 8 p.m. Eastern time via Zoom. If for whatever reason, let's say I have an event going on or I'm not available to to meet that uh, uh, day or time, I will always inform you all in advance via email. That's why it's important that I have you on my email newsletter. I have you on my list because I'm not going to be publicly announcing the, the, the link everywhere. OK, you have to be either an existing client of mine, 
where I already have what's called an accountability group. And within that, you'll see the Ecclesia gathering, right? So all of my clients, by the way, you're already invited. You'll see it. You'll constantly be, be, be shown the, uh, the Zoom links, the invite links and things like that. If you're brand new, not a client, you want to be a part of this. I just need you on my email newsletter. I just need your email name so I know who's here. I know who I'm speaking to. I know we're, we're accounting for everyone, right? And again, we're, we're just focused on you and the numbers, finance. Like that's what we're looking at, right? Well, I'm, I'm not diluting the word by any means, right? I'm allowing Holy Spirit. I'm allowing the word to grow here. But again, we're going to work. I already know you go to church. Most of you that watch me, you already, you already have your religious organizations, your ministries, um, and different things that you're already doing for the glory of God alone. Phenomenal. But a lot of you, just based off the numbers, based off statistics, based off the environment, we are lacking in our financial intelligence and our financial literacy in the body of Christ. We are lacking. Why is that? Well, of all the churches, both Christian and Catholic churches that I've been to, the, the amount of financial classes and courses and in business is lacking my friend it's lacking heavy from the mega churches to the church down the block it is rare to come across financial literacy financial intelligence information i'm talking high level stuff not just seven baby steps and and you know hope and pray everything's gonna be okay no 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 i'm talking strategies on how can i master money not just become debt free and invest 15 percent of my income to joe schmo who's a financial advisor and now i'm trusting in him on the entire wealth creation of for my family no 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 how do i become a master over money and collaborate with joe as a financial advisor or coach or a consultant and collaborate with other business owners to acquire real estate acquisitions, to acquire other small businesses, to think massively, not just how do I create wealth for my wife and kids, but how do I create wealth for the whole entire neighborhood? How do I ensure wealth creation and perpetuity for my children's 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 children? How do I think 50 years, a hundred years deep? I'm telling you, I don't know where those classes exist at church. I'm not seeing it. So this is something I'm really passionate about. For the last four years, I've been building, preparing for this moment, and now we're here. So I'm very excited to dive real deep into this, and I look forward to spending some time with you. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll be talking soon.